Hello again, everybody. This is Michael, KE4EST. And today we're going to, I'm going to go over showing you how to program an AT Tiny, one of the Atmel AT Tiny chips, with an Arduino Uno. And the reason I want to show you this is because it's a quick, easy way to do, to do it without having to get, you know, more money involved in buying a dedicated programmer or uh, anything like that. Um, and you can do it right, right in, you know, a lot of the stuff right in with the Arduino IDE. If you're not ready to make the jump, you know, to get in like something like a Atmel Studio or something like that. So first you want to do is come up here. And, you know, this is on the web, but sometimes it's just helpful to see it done. You want to come right here. Um, you go to File Preferences. And then click right here. And you want to put this in, right, this last line only. Um, you may have some other stuff in there. You may not, depending on if you've done other stuff. But you want to put that last line in right there. Okay. And I'll put it on the... Uh, I'll try to stick it right in here. And I'll link it in the bottom, too. And you say, okay, okay. And you can you know, type it in or copy and paste it. And then you want to go Tools, Board. And under Board Manager... When you click that, it'll come up, and it takes a few minutes to come up. And uh, I'm just going to skip that step to kind of save a little time. But it'll, uh, when it gets done, it'll say downloading platforms. And when it gets done, you'll see a th uh, entry in there. It says AT Tiny by David Mellis. I like, you know, uh, of course, I didn't write this or come up with this. I'm just going to go over and show you how to do it. Um, if you've not seen it before or whatever, and just to give you an idea, go, oh, I can do that. Pretty cool. So. Go do that, and once you do that, you'll see it's going to come up right here. It'll show. But the first thing you uh, you know it'll have your AT Tiny. So the first thing you want to do is you want and I've got it right here. Is Arduino ISP? You want to go to File Examples and Arduino ISP, and it'll pop it up when I've already got it open. And of course, you ain't got to worry about all this code here. Some pretty good code here. But if you're not uh, an expert yet, or not already, you know, real familiar with uh, C++ and all that. A lot of this you don't understand. But you want to bring up this here. Okay, and then once you got it up here, you're going to make sure you select your proper board. You know, and... Oh, that's something else I was playing with before there. Select your board. It's a Uno. It's like quam, a bleh, com port that it's on. Like anything else. And then you just want to upload it. Hit upload. And it's going to rebuild everything and upload it. Okay. There you go. Now this is set up to work as a programmer to program this chip here. And you can see here I've got my power just fed off to pin 4 and 8 of the chip. You know, pin 4 is ground and pin 8 is VCC. So I just got that coming off of here, 5 volts and ground. And then what you're going to do here is use pins. Uh, get this where you can see it here. You want to use pins uh, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Pin 10. Which I'm using a blue wire here is going to go to pin one. Uh oh, get that back in the shot there. It's going to go to pin one on your AT Tiny. And then pin 11 is going to go to pin five. Pin 12 off of this, your digital IO pin is going to go to pin six. And then 13 is going to go to seven. And then what you also want to do is get you a, a capacitor here. Now, don't have this capacitor in there while you're uploading to this to set it for the, you know, uh, to use as a boot. To, when you're setting this up as ISP, don't put that in there. But then take it and go. We're going to do it. Make sure you got the polarity right. The negative goes to the ground. Then we're going to go across the reset line here. Make sure I see what I'm doing. I don't want to make any sparks here. Okay, reset and ground. Okay. And if you don't do that, sometimes the 
Uno will just go into this little reset loop and it won't actually program the chip. Okay. And I've already got a LED here on pin zero just to show you. Okay. So once that's done, then you can go up to tools. All right. Now let's go down here and you'll like I say, you'll see this and I'm using the 85. Now you might be using one of the other ones, but as long as it's one of those ones that's supported. So I, I chose, come on, chose that. Okay, then it gave me these other options. So I need to go AT Tiny 85. Okay, and I'm going to use the 8 megahertz internal clock. Um, if you're going to use something else, you of course do that. Okay, and that's set. So then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hit burn bootloader. And what that's going to do is burn the bootloader onto the AT Tiny to set it up to take programs from this, you know, the uh, Arduino IDE. So it's going to say burning bootloader. It's going to do it. And you see it says done burning bootloader. So that's done. Okay. Now it's just blanked out. Of course, this LED even went off. It was on. And it's tied to pin zero. Now what you want to do, what I want to do here to show you that it's working here, go to blink. And of course, you can program whatever program you're going to put in. But I'm going to use blink. Now if you go and grab blink straight out of the files, examples, and get blink, if you want to follow along here, you need to change this to pin zero. Because it's not pin 13 or it'll say LED built in. Um, it's pin zero on this. We're going to use pin zero. And then uh, make sure your digital rights are set to zero. So that's pin zero as an output. Then we're going to digital write pin zero high. And then we're going to wait. Set digital uh, digital write pin zero low. Wait. And you know repeat round and round and round. And we'll set this for, I was doing some other experimenting earlier. We'll set this for a thousand this for a thousand so we've got a thousand milliseconds you know in there and then all you gotta do um, this is already set you know to work as an you know whatever uh, to program it with as a programmer and then you got all this set make sure this is set here if I didn't touch on that Arduino as ISP make sure that's set okay now all this is set up and then you just hit upload and it's going to go through and upload. And the LED should start blinking here. And there it goes. So you've got it done. If you everything went smoothly, and there you go, and it's working. That way you can, instead of buying a dedicated programmer, sometimes they get expensive. Or if you don't want to delve into, you know, like I said before, delve into the... Uh, at mail studio yet and get familiar with all that uh, you can just go through this process and program your chip do whatever you want of course you can take the uno and you can go back and put it into something else later on you know whatever but if you want to go back and program one of these chips again with at tinies you don't have to go back and reprogram this set it up as a programming you know device arduino isp you know, like I said, you got to go and bring up this example program and just dump it to it. And if you got a fresh new chip, you know, you order some AT Tiny chips, you want to go to uh, Tools and Burn Bootloader and let that do. And after the bootloader is burnt, and you can, you know, you don't have to do that every time. That's just a one time shot deal. And you, you know, know this is set up. And then you can write your uh, code, do whatever. But anyway, I hope that helps somebody out. Uh, and, uh, uh, if it did, do give me a like down there. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button below. And until next time, this is Michael, KE4EST. Semi-3, everybody.